What should be the strategy of the U.S. and allies now to get Putin either to the negotiating table or just to tell him to, like, stop? This has to stop. You know, we, we're entering uh, what I think is a very critical stage of the war. We've been through three stages. The first was Putin invading Ukraine and trying to take over the capital. And that failed. That, that uh, phase one was a failed invasion. Phase two was uh, siege warfare, a lot of destruction, a lot of killing of innocent men, women, and children. I think they were trying to break the will of the Ukrainian people. That failed as well. We're now in this third phase. Uh, Russia has retreated from the capital, but they focused on Donbass. They're also engaged in a lot of artillery and missile strikes of different targets uh, throughout uh, Ukraine. I think we're right now we're in a stalemate right. between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, and the real issue is going to be how long does that go on? It could go on for a period of time. Uh, the other option is that it can produce some kind of negotiated settlement. But a lot of that's up to Putin, and I don't see that happening. And the third is it could escalate. So we are in a very critical stage of this war. Could escalation mean nuclear war? If Vladimir Putin feels boxed in and things are not going to plan, could he press the button? I don't think there's any question that when you put a bully in a corner, you absolutely have no idea what uh, is going to happen. And I think that's true for Putin. Putin is, is someone who understands force. Uh, he obviously is disappointed that he, his forces have not been able to achieve a quick victory here. Uh, I don't think he likes stalemate. And so the real issue is whether he resorts to either chemical or biological warfare or some kind of battlefield uh, nuclear weapon uh, or invades a NATO country. All of that is possible. And that's why we are in a very tenuous and critical part of the Ukrainian war right now that could, could tell us whether or not this is going to be a war that will resolve itself yep. or it will escalate into a larger war. What role can China play? And why have they not come out saying condemning the war? I think China is very nervous about what they see happening with Russia and Ukraine. They've seen the fact that uh, Russia has been unable to be able to accomplish their mission, uh, that Russia is now under some serious sanctions that are impacting on their economy. Uh, they've seen the unity of the United States and NATO coming together. They do not want to be a target of the same kind of sanctions. And so I think Xi right now is being very careful not to uh, be viewed as taking sides. Uh, he'll, he'll provide some words, but I do not think he'll provide any direct assistance to Russia right now.